Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International with me Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamid bin Isa Al Khalifa was at the forefront to receive His Majesty King Abdullah II Ibn Al Hussein of Jordan, accompanied by Her Majesty Queen Rania Al Abdullah upon his arrival at Sakir Airbase for a visit to the Kingdom. Also present was His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa and senior officials. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa held a discussion session with His Majesty King Abdullah II bin Al Hussein of Jordan at Sakir Palace. An official reception ceremony was held for the Jordanian monarch, where the Jordanian royal anthem and the Bahraini anthem were played. <laughs>
At the beginning of the session, His Majesty welcomed the Jordanian monarch and he had the deep-rooted brotherly relations between the two countries and the advanced level of cooperation in various fields. The two kings expressed satisfaction with the level of commercial exchange and the progress and growth of economic and commercial relations. They also affirmed the solidarity of the two countries in their efforts to combat terrorism and maintain security and stability. His Majesty the King expressed thanks and appreciation for Jordan's supporting stances towards Bahrain's combating of terrorism and extremism and the coordinated joint efforts in this regard. The two kings noted the importance of cooperation between the two countries to combat COVID-19 and mitigate its spread. The Jordanian monarch expressed thanks for the facilitations provided by the Bahraini embassy in Amman, which facilitated the return of Bahraini citizens and students to the kingdom. His Majesty commended the contributions of the Jordanian community in Bahrain to the development process in all fields. The two sides discussed regional and international developments and exchanged points of view on their regard. They asserted the importance of joint coordination and stressed the need for intensifying efforts to resolve the Palestinian cause and consider peace a strategic option to end a Palestinian Israeli conflict in a just and comprehensive manner in accordance with international legitimacy resolutions and the Arab Peace Initiative in a manner that guarantees the rights of the brotherly Palestinian people. They discussed the latest developments in Syria, in which His Majesty the King affirmed Jordan's support for the efforts to maintain Syria's sovereignty and stability and the unity of its people. His Majesty the King praised the efforts of the Jordanian monarch in supporting the Arab causes, especially the Palestinian cause, since the Jordanian monarch is a custodian of the holy sites in Jerusalem. The two kings affirmed the necessity for preventing foreign interference in regional affairs and its impact on security and stability. They stressed the importance of cooperation between the two countries to maintain security and stability in the region and protect international navigation in the Arabian Gulf waters from any threats that impact international trade movement. For his part, the Jordanian monarch expressed thanks and appreciation for the warm welcome and generous hospitality, affirming the distinguished historic ties between the two kingdoms and their people. The Minister of Information, Ali Aramehi, praised the relations between Bahrain and Jordan and he had the brotherly ties and cooperation in all fields, thanks to the keenness of the kings of the two countries. He praised the firm stances of Jordan towards Bahrain, affirming that these stances reflect the strong ties between the two countries. He also praised and exchanged visits between the two countries in order to achieve peace, security and stability. He praised the session held with His Majesty the King and the Jordanian King and the keenest to resolve regions and international conflicts. He affirmed that this visit will result in many positive outcomes. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet noted the outcomes of the discussions held by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa with the President of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, and the importance in strengthening bilateral cooperation between the two countries. The Cabinet stated that the agreements and a memoranda of understanding signed during the visit of the Brazilian President will enhance coordination and cooperation between the two countries across the investment, political and cultural fields and the organisation of joint events. The Cabinet also noted the speech delivered by His Majesty the King when receiving senior participants in the 17th edition of the Manama Dialogue, which affirmed Bahrain's commitment to peace and discussion that enhances regional and global security and stability. The Cabinet commended the participation of foreign dignitaries and representatives at the Manama Dialogue, which is a testament to the international community's commitment to achieving security and stability that will lead to further progress and development. The Cabinet congratulated His Majesty and Bahrain's success in hosting the third edition of the Bahrain International Trophy. The Cabinet noted that international stables and owners attended the race, reflecting Bahrain's standing in the horse racing circuit. The Cabinet praised the efforts made by the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club's High Committee, headed by its Chairman His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in organising an event that showcases the Kingdom's efficiency in hosting world-class championships. To support the aims of the Economic Recovery Plan, the Cabinet affirmed its commitment to organising and hosting additional conferences that enhance Bahrain's contribution to the exhibition and conference industry in support of Economic Recovery Plan. The Cabinet highlighted the success of the Jewelry Arabia Exhibition 2021 held under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince 
noting that it was well organised and received a high turnout. The Cabinet also reviewed a report detailing the organisation and attendance of the exhibition. The Cabinet approved the dedication of March the 25th as an annual day of celebration of Bahraini youth for the role in the Kingdom's growth and development. Based on a proposal by the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Working Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Cabinet assigned the Ministerial Committee for Financial and Economic Affairs and Fiscal Balance to follow up on the Economic Recovery Plan Strategic Projects Plan, the value for which exceeds 32 billion US dollars. The committee was also tasked with following up on new investment projects with more than 30 billion US dollars. The Cabinet discussed several memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. Memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding an MOU between Bahrain and the Government of Ballywick of Jersey regarding cooperation in the financial, digital and cultural sectors. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs on an MOU between Bahrain's Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Hellenic Republic, which aims to enhance cooperation between the two countries at the bilateral and international levels. A memorandum by the Minister of Interior related to the digital transformation of services provided by the General Directorate of Traffic by adding several services to the e-government portal. These include the issuance of a consent form for driving another individual's car across the King Fahad Causeway as well as the launch of a digital driver's licence and vehicle ownership, which does not require the owner to carry a physical copy of each. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to a proposal submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs regarding services provided during the summer of 2021. The report indicated no technical problems or interruptions during the summer, despite an increase in energy consumption. The memorandum noted that the installation of smart meters for all Bahraini primary residences and the transition to the new billing system would be completed in January 2022. The Cabinet then took note of ministerial reports regarding Bahrain's participation in the 41st session of the General Conference of the UNESCO, a visit to Turkey, and participation in the 2021 Dubai Air Show. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received the Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Committee of the Armed Forces of Pakistan, General Nadim Raza, and an accompanying delegation at Gadebia Palace. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the strength of Bahrain-Pakistan relations and the importance of further enhancing the strategic partnership, particularly regarding military and defence matters. His Royal Highness welcomed General Raza and his accompanying delegation to Bahrain. Regional and international developments, including ways to further bolster bilateral cooperation, were discussed. For his part, General Nadim Raza expressed gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness noting His Royal Highness's commitment to further bilateral relations that benefit both countries. The Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, and the BDF Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General, Thad bin Saga Al Noemi, were also in attendance. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, a President of the General Sports Authority, the GSA, and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, visited Al Nabi Saleh Club and Citra Club within the framework of His Highness's field visits to support and enhance communication with sports facilities, to implement plans and programmes that develop the level of sports and athletes in accordance with the policies of GSA. Present were GSA Deputy President His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa and GSA CEO Dr Abdurrahman Asker. His Highness met with the Chairman of Al Nabi Saleh Club, Sadiq Dawish, and the Deputy Chairman of Citra Club, Ali Habib, as well as a number of both clubs' members. His Highness hailed the efforts of the clubs in serving Bahraini sports by holding various sports activities and events, encouraging young people to practice sports and enhancing them in sports teams of the two clubs, as well as actively participating in local competitions, which is reflected in the role of the clubs in the development of the sports sector. 
His Highness then listened to a briefing from the club's president regarding the future plans that aim to develop the sports sector. His Highness noted the comprehensive development of the future vision that contributes to the progress of sports and enhances Bahrain's status on the continental and international sports map. For their part, the club's presidents expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness for his visit and continuous support, which reflects His Highness's keenness to enhance communication for the development of the national clubs. They hailed His Highness's efforts in serving the sports sector in the kingdom and keenness on achieving a comprehensive development in the sports sector. Deputy Prime Minister His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa yesterday received the participants in the third meeting of the Bahrain Saudi Business Council. In attendance were Finance and National Economy Minister Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa and the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayd bin Rashid Al Ziani. The participants were led by the Chairman of Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Samir Abdullah Nas, and Head of the Saudi side of the Council, Abdurrahman bin Salah Al Outashtan. The Deputy Premier hailed the strong historic relations binding Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, supported by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. He stressed the steadily growing cooperation through the Council, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Saudi Crown Prince, a Deputy Premier and Defence Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. The BDF Commander-in-Chief Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa received with the BDF General Command the Chairman of the Joint Chief of Staff Committee of the Armed Forces of Pakistan and General Nadim Retha and his accompanying delegation in the presence of the Chief of Staff, Lieutenant General Thiab bin Saga al -Nuemi. The BDF Chief welcomed General Nadim Retha and his accompanying delegation, stressing the depth of the distinguished friendship relations between the two countries. 
The two sides reviewed ways to enhance bilateral relations at all levels, especially regarding military coordination and defence cooperation. Within the framework of the security efforts to maintain the security of the homeland and a proactive security operation in cooperation with the National Intelligence Service, the General Directorate of Criminal Investigations and Forensic Evidence confirmed the arrest of terrorist elements that began planning and preparing for terrorist operations, targeting security and civil peace, and the seizure of weapons and explosives sourced from Iran with those elements associated with terrorist groups in Iran. Representatives Council Speaker Fazia Sanal received into Parliamentary Union the IPU High Level Advisory Group on Countering Terrorism and Violent Extremism Chairman Dr. Renhold Lopatka. The meeting discussed cooperation and exchange of expertise in the field of combating terrorism and extremism. The Speaker affirmed that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, places combating terrorism among its top priorities and always calls for international cooperation to enhance security and stability across the region and the world. She stressed the Parliament's keenness to enhance security and stability in cooperation with the IPU and its readiness to host the 10th meeting of the High Level Advisory Group on Combating Terrorism and Violent Extremism next year. Zanal referred to the continuous efforts of the Government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, that enabled Bahrain to have a high-ranking legislative system and civilised laws. The Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali Al Saleh, received into Parliamentary Union High-Level Advisory Group on Countering Terrorism and Violent Extremism Chairman, Dr Reinhold Lepatka. The meeting discussed cooperation and the exchange of expertise in the field of combating terrorism and extremism. The Chairman affirmed that the Kingdom, under the leadership of His Majesty the King, places combating terrorism among its top priorities and always calls for international cooperation to enhance security and stability across the region and the world. He stressed the Parliament's keenness to enhance security and stability in cooperation with the IPU and its readiness to host the 10th meeting of the High Level Advisory Group on Combating Terrorism and Violent Extremism next year. Asali referred to the continuous efforts of the Government, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, that enabled Bahrain to have a high-ranking legislative system and civilised laws.